Protests against the new regulation, original elections law, which scraped direct elections for heads of districts and mayors, continued in different parts of Java. In all, protesters took their protests to the local legislative councils. A number of protesters in Yogyakarta who claimed to belong to the committee on the action of Yogyakarta community said the new law was robbing the people of one of their political rights. They also said that the passage of the new law undermined the already thin trust public has on legislators. During the rally, protesters brought a large envelope containing a petition to be sent to the Constitutional Court. Ya, poin besarnya aja, poin besarnya yaitu pertama kami e, menyampaikan keprihatinan kepada MK yaitu pertama tentang penolakan kami terhadap pilkada langsung, yang kedua ya semacam peringatan, semacam peringatan ketika suara kami tidak didengarkan. Langsung dikirim ya? Ya, hari ini akan kami kirim segera. In Jember, East Java, protesters took to the street to reject the new law. Protesters carrying posters said the return of indirect elections was also the return to the system prevailing for three decades under the authoritarian rules of President Suharto. They also said that the new law turned Indonesia from a democracy country into a patriarchy. Protesters called on the Constitutional Court to decree the law as unconstitutional and for the president to soon issue a presidential decree revoking the law. In Subang, West Java, protesters from the Integration Forum broke into a plenary of the Subang District Legislative Council. After getting the approval from plenary chairman, the protesters distributed flyers containing their demands to get the law revoked to the council members and they disbanded peacefully. Ya, itu kan sebuah bentuk presi kekecewaan kami atas semua rakyat yang memiliki hak suara, kedaulatan suara kan itu ya karena ini sudah dilampas oleh dewan yang gimana undang-undang terkait dengan pilkada tidak langsung. Itu kan sebenarnya undang-undang politisasi saya bilang kan gitu. Secara jujur yang gimana koalisi merah putih itu yang kemarin dalam pilpres itu sudah tidak artinya tidak bisa meraih suara pada sama rakyat yang sehingga mereka membuat sebuah manuver-manuver dengan melegislasi undang-undang itu sendiri. The House of Representatives last month passed the draft law on regional elections that scraped direct regional elections. The move has prompted daily protests rejecting the elections that is deemed to be damaging to the democracy that has been painstakingly built in the past 16 years.